Okay, I've had a, a Facebook um, friend ask me about how I um, cut off these uh, little uh, sake cups or little cups off the pump. So I thought I'd just do a couple of minute video of how it's done. Uh, there's two different ways. You can use a string. This is a tool I've got here that's got, a, it's got a piece of string on the back and you let that wrap around. That's the Japanese or Korean way. I do use it sometimes but I do find it difficult. Anyway we'll throw, uh, throw a little cup and we'll show what, what I do. Isolate uh, golf ball sized, slightly larger piece of clay. If you've got an image in your mind uh, of say oh then an apple the size of an apple a tangerine a golf ball a squash ball you have that sort of um, image in your mind of what it feels like you can isolate how much clay you need each time because you can't weigh it off the hump it's down to feel so that's like a large golf ball size the second question I had was how you avoid spiral cracking because obviously you, uh, you can't press down on the inside of here very well. Uh, some folks use a throwing stick and you can press in with that. What I tend to do is use a dry finger and this clay is quite wet and when you pull across it drags and uh, helps compress a little bit so the inside of the bottom there is dragging on my finger but because it's in the base it's not throwing it off centre so that's one of the things I do we need to wet it because we need the inside wet simple normal way of throwing People say, oh, you have to throw this way or that way, or this is the best way to do it. Or, it's whatever feels right for the individual person. There's as many different ways of throwing pots as there are potters. Just find out what's right for you. The way I do it is the way it's right for me, you know. I'll just pass on these tips if I, it works for me, it not, might, might not work for you. The problem I have, personally, with throwing off the hump is leaving quite a bit of clay here so once I've got my thickness right to there I then go into the base here and I throw the bottom just out a little bit and thin it and then, there's no pressure at all there I'm not pulling the wall up I'm just straightening it out you can use a rib if you want. I, I can't like ribs that much. I, don't, I like my pots to be a little bit wobbly. Because I've thrown this bit here quite thin, I won't have to turn that. Or if I do, it's only going to be a, just a touch. I've pressed my finger in there. Fingers are in here. Pressed underneath to get my thickness here correct. I'll just press in there now. Lower it down. And that gives me the base. It's more or less turned itself there. I've got the shape of the way I want the bottom of there. And just get what's left of the water inside. And this this here has got a it's just got a piece a little piece of stick on it. I just mark where I want to cut the base off. And then what I do, rather than using a string, is I use a needle. my fingers under there so it slides and all I do is just push the needle in following that line and off it comes quite flat so the line that you put in with a piece of wood is your guideline to keeping the needle flat and straight and horizontal that way it doesn't cause problems this one there 
Okay, just do another one. Just centre the top. I'll just do one now without stopping and you'll just see how simple and quick and easy it is. There you go, got my golf ball sized piece of clay. Dry my finger, pull it across. I've got more as thin as I want it now. Throw in this base out from the inside. A bit thinner. Press and get the clay out, get the uh, slip out from the inside with there. Mark a line where I want to cut it off. Damp fingers, needle. There you go. 